one, and today we're taking a look at Expeditions Rome demo. Now, Expeditions Rome is a turn-based RPG where we are a young legatus who escaped Rome after my father was murdered. So we're going to lead some Praetorians and we are going to try to conquer uh, try to conquer the lands for Rome. Now, I haven't played any of this, so I have no idea what it's like. Um the developers of this also developed Expeditions Conquistador and Expeditions Vikings. I do have those games. I haven't tried them yet, but I am a fanatic for turn-based games. For some reason, I can't get enough of them. Um, all I did is I come in. Uh, when I did the game, I just went for volume. So I'm hoping the volume's fine. But let's uh, yeah, let's hop into it. New game. Some skills such as interrupt or taunt put a character into a stance until certain condition is met. In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Scaevola had poisoned her husband, and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. All right, here's where we get to choose uh, what we look like. Also, I forgot to mention, you can get the demo on Steam, and I will have the link down below. This music is very loud in here. Um, we're going to come up with a name, huh? Um, we're going to be Michaelius. Uh, capital M. Not everything in caps. I don't need to be screaming at everybody. Uh, I can't pick my name, my last name, so it has to be something here, but I like Valerius. I like it. That works. Uh, nickname? Uh, where does it be Mikey? Male. Zoom in on our face. What do we want to look like? Uh, that works. A little bit longer here. Not that long. We do that. Ah, yeah, we'll do that. That looks dang sexy. Blue brown hair because I got blue brown hair. Uh, height. Be massive. We ran the middle of it. And we get to choose a portrait. Guy okay, gives me the. What is it? Ben Cross from the first night look. Each of these three perks unlocks unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations. Think about what kind of character you want to uh, roleplay and choose uh, your rhetorical style according. During your story, you may get a chance at a second master technique. Ethos, the art of using uh, the power of your authority or your abilities to get your way. Uh, Logos, the art of convincing someone Capitals, the art of winning people over. Using stirring rhetoric for emotional manipulation. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Oh, choose our difficulty. Um, easy. Again, we got Augustus. The heir of Caesar became the first emperor of Rome. Augustus started his career with an enormous fortune and many allies. In this setting, you will have what you need to succeed, and your mistakes will not be punished harshly. Caesar, which is normal. Legendary general and politician, Caesar conquered Gaul and nearly became emperor of Rome before his political opponents assassinated him. If you choose this setting, you'll be challenged, and you are likely to rise to greatness. 
Papaeus, considered one of the greatest commanders of his time, Papaeus was a friend of Caesar's. He opposed him in the bloody civil war. Caesar defeated him, and he fled to Egypt, where he was killed. On this setting, the difficulties will be great, but your victories will all be sweeter. Crassius is an insane difficulty. Though he was the wealthiest man in Rome, Crassius was always jealous of the military success of his peers. This drove him to lead an invasion in Parthia, where he was soundly defeated and executed. If you choose this setting, you will be shown no mercy, and you may not prevail. Um, we'll do Caesar. You got combat death. Uh, enables the permanent death of party members, so if they bleed out during combat. A story companion of your own, uh, or your own character, dies game over. Uh, and they got Iron Man. Uh, we'll leave that off. I'm not doing Iron Man. And yeah, we'll do Norman. We'll do Three names. The Roman first name is used by his closest friend. Middle name used by his, uh, is his family name, last name, nickname. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. Ah, uh, sorry, friend. Yeah, sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. He still claim, just claims we're close to our destination. I wish I'd never left Rome. The sooner I can get my wet, uh, wet my blade, the better I feel. Uh, we'll do it. He still claims that we're close to our destination. Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. Okay, so when we picked what type of reddick we want to use, we cannot use these others. We can only use the one that's actually going to use. So mine was what? Logos. Okay, so the man may generally not know our position. I will see if I can help work it out. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. There are so few passengers on this galley. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. Left so quickly, my mother and sister. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. Thank you for coming with me, Cineros. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. All right, so we got our chest up here. Pirates on the Mediterranean. Uh, thank uh, Quintinicus. Or Quinticus. I asked Triarch. Okay. Quest markers point towards your mandatory objectives. And your optional objectives, okay. Goals. Quest markers are only displayed for current tracked quests. When you have more than one quest, you can change which one you're tracking in the quest menu. Camera control, WASD. You can also rotate the camera with the middle mouse button and F for the camera to follow your character. You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. Who are you? You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. Centurio, I want to thank you for your timely arrival at my villa. Whenever formally introduced, Centurio, my name is Machilius Valeris Mikey. <laughs> Sounds really stupid when you had it that way. <laughs> The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. Aquilinus. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. 
You can call me Mikey. With all due respect, I'd better not. Can we go over a plan of departure? It was far too hasty to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. Uh, what are the duties of Tribunus? I know it's about war. What are the duties? You will have very little responsibility. The Tribunus of Allegio assist the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. This will be an excellent stepping stone, becoming a senator. If I'm going to follow Legion around, I'm going to make myself useful. I'm not here to be kept safe. I'm here to build my reputation. Make powerful friends. So I may return home and reclaim my family. We'll try that one. That is certainly not what your mother wants for you. But I admire your courage. Talk to the consul about it. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul. Elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. Uh, what's your relationship with Lucullus? For many years, I was the Primus Pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Uh, will you be returning to your position when we reach Lesbos? That position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Awesome. Marlard to have you with me. Happy to be at your service. Uh, have you talked to any other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. I should talk to the Trakis. Ah, yes. Solway. Solway? Solway, don't believe I've been properly introduced. My name is Michaelius Valerius Mikey. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesa. Well met. This is all quite new to me. Mind if I ask a few questions? Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Where are you from? I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Oh, why'd you join the Legion? That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. How many wars did you fight in? To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. This is my first military assignment. Do you have any advice? <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. <laughs> Talk to you later. I heard he's running from a senator who wants him dead. Shh, shh, keep your voice down. Are you whispering about me? What is he looking for? He's been like this all morning. Give me this. Mm hmm? Salve. Give wasn't it? What? Yes, give us. Salve. I'm a little preoccupied. It would have been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out uh, since early this morning. Is that the cause of our delay? Ah, you're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. You finally see Lesbos on the horizon? That ship. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram. Oh, get shoot. your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. Weapons? I get multiple? Ooh, the Greeks. The Greeks. Alright. Gaius! Are you alright? I got on both. I'm quick. fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! 
Preparation phase. Before the combat begins, you will often have time to organize your Praetorians into formation with the area highlighted in blue. And simply click on one of your Praetorians and click where you want them placed. Generally a good idea for your heavy infantry in the front. Yeah, and archers in the back. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Um, what do we have? You I can't control, obviously. Uh, we'll move you here. You're the only one that looks like you're up enough. We'll try this. No, wait, 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 wait. Well, look at these stats. Movement 8, morale immune. Okay, this is me. Bludgeon resistance 1%, piercing resistance, or fire resistance 27%. Movement is 4, morale is 40. 3 to 5 damage, mine's 2 to 5. Offhand, 2 to 5. Bludgeon resistance 8, or bludgeon piercing and slashing 8%, fire resistance 25. Now, let's look at their stats first. Main hand, 4 to 7. Morale, 50. Movement, 8. Oh, good at slashing. This is a fire resist. 4 to 7. Bludgeoning. All resistance is good for fire. Well, fire resist, 25. Rest for 1. Alright, so if look at me. No, wait, wait, wait. Get over there. Flash skill. Also hits the enemy on the targets left for half damage. So okay, some like a cleave. Gladius, that's okay, that's a sword. Punch, okay, unarmed. Slash, okay, that's the cleave. You'll push, does bludgeoning damage, pushes target away. Gray, supplies a strong to self. For each stack, 25% of the character's shield strength maximum is restored at the beginning of their turn. One stack is lost every time the shield takes a hit. Lies weakened to enemies, 50% damage. Reach. Oh, okay. Uh, extra hexes. Okay, two hexes. Logistics. Area effect hex rate affects multiple targets. Applies to coordinated uh, applies coordinated to allies. Plus two maximum movement. Alright. Aimed shot. Applies harried to enemies. Negative ten to all resistance, twenty-five to damage. Four to seven piercing damage for crippling shot. Applies crippled to enemies, fifty percent movement. Interrupt. Ooh, six to eleven. Knock an arrow, wait for an enemy to move within 120 degree cone in front. Shoot the enemy. Range 12 hexes. Character will shoot the first enemy who moves into it. Alright, so I think we're gonna be good. We start with you. Um so what's the eight? Eight's my movement. Do I get one attack and a movement? Oh, what's the orange triangle? How do we determine we're ready? Shoot. I'm gonna guess this. Attacking. Alright. To attack the enemy, first select which skill you want uh, to use. Each skill cannot be used more than once per turn. All right. Okay, this answers my questions. Many skills require an action point. Uh, the diamond, orange diamond. Use some have a limited charge, which is a red square. So we're going to try cripple. Untrained enemies. Whenever you kill or incapacitate an untrained uh, characters such as civilians or militia, in this case, Geminite, 
The character who dealt the final blow will regain their attack of action. I'm okay, untrained enemies. Remember that any given skill can be used once per turn, and the action points cannot be saved for the next turn. Try to finish off any untrained enemy within the character with a character. Okay. Also, I, I can't use this one, but I can use another shot. Is he bleeding out? I don't think he's dead. He's incapacitated. Can I shoot him from here? No? Oh, I don't want that one. Aim shot. Stat effects. Any stat effect applied to character will show up in their tooltip. The number of in, uh, the number indicates the remaining duration in combat. Uh, the bars indicate how severe the effects are. Stat effects can be positive, which is blue, negative, or red, or neutral, which is uh, black. To get more information about the status effects. Press the C status effect key and open a list of statuses currently affecting the character. Status effect. He has E to status effect. Untrained, he's incapacitated. The character will restore the action point of the attacker. Harried, negative ten dollar resistance. All right, so I think he's done. Uh, I'm gonna leave him there. I think. You have an unspent action point. Do have an unspent action point? I do. Or do I just pick a different person? Ordering characters during combat. Characters can take action in any order. For example, move range a few, few hexes towards the enemy, shoot, and then move back again. You're also free to swap between characters during your turn. For example, one character can move, the other character can move and attack. When all, when the first character can attack as well, you can even move or attack with the character. We'll try. Okay. Well, for you, bring you up. You're the tanky fella. I don't think I can do anything else with him. Uh. Okay for me to move here? We're gonna try. Oh no! Attack of opportunity! Oh, I thought I clicked on me. Uh, that might actually block. Man, that still didn't kill him. Mm, is it going to be safe to bring him up here? We're going to try it. Point restored. Uh, I don't know if I want him. If I move here, I'm gonna get hit by both of these guys. Oh my god, there's more? I feel I'm gonna get hit by both of those guys. Um, if we move here. Can we reach from here? Oh, we can! Oh, that was fantastic. And I got a skill back. Uh, but we're gonna end it. Yes. Wait. You have an unspit. Press the end to confirm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, he can walk around him. I thought for sure that it would be locking. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, he took a hit. Oh, man, they're beating the crap out of me. Where is that gladiator who boarded with us? Up there! Uh, 
Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. Hmm. Alright, so we need to get rid of this guy. Still standing. Impressive. Way to heal? Nobody has heals. I got my skill point back, so let's go here. Punch him. Oh, that's right. Attack of opportunity. That was just stupid. All right, I am feeling horrible. Uh, let's get you. Can I shoot? You're done. Uh, you here, Just step on the guy on the ground. Why don't you, old man? Alright, so let's come... I don't think... Can I come... Oh, I can't come up all the way up here. Can I just hit? No, I have to pick a skill. Alright. Uh... Go here and reach, then. You're deadly with that thing! I've lived other lives before this one. Alright, gladiator. Precise stab. What does that do? One to five piercing damage generates one focus. Cannot be blocked or resisted. Edit. Nobody else can attack. That's the end. Oh. Go. Finish people off. Did they kill... They yeah, met us already? Oh. I think I'm gonna. Well, I don't have an attack. I have an attack. Finish you off. Let's finish you off. Hey, old man. I'm here. Fantastic. I right, see so you. Man, do I want you up front? Two people. Make two attacks, each half normal damage. Oh, one attack, basically. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Where am I at? I'm really hurting, so I'm gonna stay back. Myself closer. Uh, actually, let's try this one. Die? 
Nah, we're gonna have to do the reach. Just one more left! Come on! We can do this! Well, he got it back, too. Perfect. Alright, you. I should have started off with this one. Oh, I killed him anyway. Sweet! Everybody's uninjured. Not sure how that works. Back to Neptune's asshole, barbarians! <sighs> the Triacus run us straight into the pirate ambush screen. Allow me to execute him right here, right now. This traitor must be working with them. We're sailing to join a war against pirates. I'm not so surprised that we should be attacked by pirates on our way. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack wow, lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's well, less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Let's see here. Yeah, turn the music down quite a bit. Try that. Alright, we get to move as a party now. Our archer don't come along. Apparently he was not mine to keep. Geminus, you steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You can't adjust the music at all. By Mars, it is the sea. How can anyone come from Rome? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? You're the premise, kind of decision, your response. Uh, that's kind of your decision, or this kind of decision is your responsibility. Why do you want him dead, gladiator? Guys, if pirates don't attack the ship as you say, why would these ones make an exception? Uh, why do you want him dead? We are close to our destination, and we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. Uh... Why are you asking me? You're the Primus. I'm just a humble Cantorio, albeit a particularly well-dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. Oh, all right. Uh, guys, the pirates don't attack ships as you say. Why would they may? Why these will make an exception? We are many of us important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. Wow, tough decision right off the bat. Um... So, I'm feeling if I execute him, this guy is going to be a little upset. I don't know if you have reputation with the, your own people. One will piss off the gladiator, one will piss off this guy. Possibly. We'll let him live. What is done is done. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. 
perhaps, but this case we certainly can't afford to lose our Treyarchs. We still have to reach less. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Treyarch as of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been inconvenient. Indeed. Thank you. If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Rowers, up the tempo! You think the glider? Eyes open. Pirates in the Mediterranean. Take your time. Wars can take years. There's no time limit. Go ahead. Take as much time as you like. All right. Oh, we choose a class? Assassin, duelist, or brawler? Assassins have good mobility, high single target. Duelists have evasive fighters that dodge and weave between attacks. Brawlers, versatile fighters that excel in penetrating enemy lines. Basic fighters that dodge and weave between attacks. Track duelist? Or armor. Dagger can be dual wield. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was seeing that wrong. Ooh. Triaris, third line of a Roman legion can be reduced the effectiveness of enemies and improve performance of allies. Subclasses, medics heal their teammates and remove medical or negative effects. Flag bearers control the battlefield by buffing allies and moving the enemies. Destroyers deliver devastating attacks. Death blow flag bearer medic. We choose for other people too or just myself, I wonder. Might just want to be an archer. I just don't know who stays in my group. So, Sagittarius, up to strike a distance, makes archer very flexible, hampered only by shields which deflect their arrows. Defensive marksmen are defensive archers that deny areas to the enemy. Hunters, close range, multi target shooters. Snipers prefer to pick off single. Okay, so I got different subclasses. Um. Ranging shot. Apply spotted to hexes. Range attacks against a target deal full damage regardless of distance. Choose two individually selected targets with 30, negative 30% 30 accuracy and a 30% chance to miss. Uh, sure, ranging. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're going to have light armor. Makes sense. I'll hold the select skill. Do I want to do ranging? Let's try it. There we go. Barbarian originally meant anyone who does not speak Greek. However, when Romans adopted the term, it became anyone who isn't Roman or Greek. All right. How much time? Oh, geez. All right, 40 minutes. Asia Minor, first century BC. Well, we're gonna end it here. I'm enjoying this game. I really am. Now you can this is Expeditions Rome. You can find it uh the demo on Steam, and I will have the link down below. Uh let me know if you'd like to Gentlemen, see more. Welcome of this. to Lesbos, I'll let them the talk, pearl I guess. Of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply, thanks to the strength of their fleet. 
We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius? All right, people. This is Lucullus' war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. All right, all right, all right. Now we're done talking here. But yeah, we'll end it here. This again, Expeditions Rome. You can find it on Steam. I'll have the link down below for the demo. Uh, if, you'd, uh, yeah. if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.